So a little bit of a story before I get into these black eyed peas. In about 1973, 74, I was in preschool and one of the things they used to always make were black eyed peas. And I'm sure they were pretty much just dumping the black eyed peas into a pot, heating them up and serving them. Well, another thing they used to always cook was just the basic salad with these big old thick chunks of like cheddar cheese in it with some Italian dressing on it. And I hated that salad. So me and one of my friends used to always switch. So I'd take his black eyed peas and then he would take my salad. Anyway, this recipe here takes me back to my childhood. So hits me kind of in my heart. And I haven't really made it this a lot because I thought for some reason my wife didn't like black eyed peas, but she told me she likes them. I don't know where I got that misconception. Anyway, this is gonna be a very quick, simple recipe. Let's go over these ingredients and get it hooked up. These are the ingredients I'm gonna be using for my black eyed peas. I bought a 16 ounce bag of black eyed peas and let them soak for about eight hours, then I rinsed them off. I'm using some jalapenos, some garlic, this is what I like right here, is I'm gonna be adding some okra to this. A lot of people slip on okra, I'm telling you, you can never go wrong with okra. I have some chicken stock, one onion that's been diced up. This is gonna be a healthy version of black eyed peas. I'm using some smoked chicken, uh, dark meat chicken that I have here. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of slap your mama, a couple bay leaves. And instead of butter or anything like that, baking grease, we're gonna be hitting it with some olive oil. Anyway, those are our ingredients, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cooking down this okra a little bit. And that's mainly just to get rid of a little bit of that slime that can kind of happen with okra. So I'm just gonna get a generous amount of olive oil in here and add our okra. Now that our okra is cooked about two minutes, we're going to go ahead and add our onions. Our jalapenos. And our garlic. Now right now I've been cooking at about a high. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to like a medium low. And I'm just going to cook this until the onions and peppers almost get caramelized just to bring out a little bit of that natural sweetness. So I'm going to this sweat down for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Now I have this chicken kind of broke into bigger pieces, but you could cut that up finely if you want. Add our black eyed peas. Throw in a couple bay leaves. And now our chicken stock. If this chicken stock doesn't cover this up, I will go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. That should be good to go. And now I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of this slap your mama. It's gonna be about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this on medium high, bring it up to kind of like a simmer and just kind of keep it right there for about 25, 30 minutes. About 25 minutes in on this and the beans are technically cooked but but I am gonna go a little bit longer and I'm gonna go as long as it takes for this to kind of start thickening up a little bit now some of the reason why some of these beans may cook faster than others could be the age of the beans how long they were soaked things like that but uh, these are cooking a little bit slower than normal so you do want to watch out for that these black eyed peas took about 45 50 minutes to get as tender as I like which is a little bit longer than it typically takes but you know what sometimes things are gonna change a little bit anyway I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit we're gonna plate it up see what we think about it now these black eyed peas have had a chance to cool down a little bit let's get in see what's up That smoke from the chicken's kind of coming through. The okra, I'm telling you. I might even actually add more okra when I do this again. 
takes me right back to 1973 right here. Outside of the fact it tastes better. Man, you could throw a little hot sauce on here, but I'm telling you, well, the uh, jalapenos I used in here are extra spicy. So I may go with some uh, hot sauce if they weren't as spicy, but these are definitely spicy. Anyway, give it a shot. I'd like to thank you guys. You know what? Give it a shot with this okra. I'm telling you, that is the key ingredient in this one for me. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.